Hey, what's up guys, Matt here. This is the, uh, wait a minute. Oh yeah, <laughs> this is a thing. Hey, what's up guys, Matt here. Here is my unboxing and hands-on with the new Nexus 9. This is Google's new tablet for the year, running Android 5.0 Lollipop. This year, it's made by HTC, and has a few HTC cues on it, but without further ado, let's get into it. So, not really much on the box. This year's box style really seems to be no color printed on it, but let's go ahead and cut the stickers and slide the top off. Right here we have the Nexus 9, but we'll leave that to the side for a second. Underneath we have the paperwork, and under that is the charging brick and micro USB cable. Nothing surprising here. Taking a closer look at the tablet, it's pretty crazy how much this looks like the Nexus 5. It really feels the same, and pretty much looks the same, just a little bit bigger. The device has an 8.9 inch IPS display with a 4x3 aspect ratio, which is really nice to see on an Android tablet. The edges are made out of metal, and on the back we have the same soft touch plastic, which feels pretty nice, but it really does get dirty pretty easily. On the front we have dual front facing speakers, which is awesome to see, something that HTC decided to bring over, and I'm appreciative of that. On the top is the headphone jack, and on the right is the power button and volume rocker, and on the bottom is the micro USB port. Around back we have an 8 megapixel camera and flash, and pretty much that's it for the hardware and looks. So turning it on, you're immediately greeted with a system update, which takes a while, but after installing it, you are treated with Android Lollipop, which honestly just looks so much better than previous versions, and there's a lot to love here, and I'm excited to see it on a tablet. On first impressions, and again I really haven't used it all that much, but the screen seems pretty decent, it's not as good as I was kind of hoping it would be, but it seems okay, and the performance is good as well, but I'll definitely have to use it more, and of course I'll cover all of these things in my full review. In the hand it feels nice, but it's surprisingly heavy compared to what I was expecting, but it does feel decent in the hand, and so far I'm liking this tablet. The 4x3 is really nice, that's something that I think all tablets should have, and Android Lollipop really is the best version of Android ever. So overall, I'm really enjoying this tablet so far in the little time that I've used it. Well guys, that's pretty much it for my unboxing and hands-on of the new Nexus 9. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up, and if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to see when my new videos are up. My name is Matt, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya!